In this video, I'm going to quickly and easily show you how you can create a write on text effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's not waste another second and get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is head into the edit tab and we're going to right click in the media pool and we're going to select new fusion composition. Now you can name this what you want. We're going to call it title and we're going to choose a frame rate of 24 frames per second and then click create. And we have our new fusion composition here we can double click it and it's going to open up for us inside of the fusion tab now the first thing is we want to add a text layer so add a text layer there and then take it and connect it to our media out then we're going to write our title select the font that you want we're going to go with papyrus and then we can increase the size to fit our screen. Now the size, font and color of the font is completely up to you and you will be able to change this at a later stage. Then we're going to head down to the text node and right click on it, select insert tool, head down to mask and choose mask paint. Then we're going to head up to the left hand side and select the single stroke at the moment it's on multi-stroke, make sure you go to single stroke. And then under stroke controls, this is the most important, change all frames to right on. Now we can't see any of our title font here just yet. So you're going to head over to mask and we're going to invert it. So it's going to show us our text and then we're going to head back to our brush controls. And you want to make sure your brush size is bigger than the letters. So we're going to increase the brush size. Come back and check the widest point of your letters that it's going to cover everything. That looks good. And take the softness and go all the way down. So remember again, first thing, select your single stroke. Then we're going to head to stroke controls. Make sure we are right on. Increase the size and softness and then make sure you have ticked the invert box under mask. Now we can start creating the right on effect. With our stroke selected, we're going to hold down and we're going to draw over exactly what we want it to cover and how we want it to write on. Now this is harder than you think. You have to think about how you would normally write this instead of paint it. So try and do the same kind of movements you would with a pen or pencil when you are writing this so it looks the way we visualize someone writing. Make sure you follow all the way to the end, cover every single piece in the right order. And you'll see we have a whole lot of keyframes that have been created. If we play that through, it's going to be inverted still. And you'll see how it slowly comes on, but it's not going to cover everything. So not all the keyframes are within the size that our fusion composition is. If we untick the invert, you'll see it'll go back to normal. And that's how it's going to look once we write it on. But we need to make it go a little bit faster and we can do that by adjusting all of the keyframes that we've just created. So if we head up to keyframes and then drop down our mask painter and drop down stroke one. Now we need to select all these keyframes. So let's zoom out so we can see all the keyframes, select all the keyframes and then we'll go yellow. We're going to right click and select time stretching and that's gonna let us come to the end here, get this arrow and squeeze it all together into the fusion composition. Now, if we play it through, it'll look a bit more realistic and be completed in time so that people can read our title. Now that we've got the write on effect, we want to head back into our edit tab and grab that title that we've just created and drop it onto our timeline. Let's see how our finished write on effect looks inside of the timeline. And you can see it's writing on really nicely and creating that cool effect. If you have any questions or queries about creating this write on effect, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you have any other DaVinci Resolve tutorials you want to see, let us know in the comments and we'll create those tutorial walkthroughs for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.